Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here and I'm so excited because today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a brand new eyeshadow palette release. And this actually released early, I just found out. It released early on Macy's. I thought it released normal and I just bought it, picked it up and then later I found out that apparently it was released early. So, hey, look at that. I picked up the Too Faced Teddy Bear palette and it was available on Macy's early. Um, they even had like 15% off, which was great. So yeah, I picked it up kind of early, but that's great because I'm able to show it to you guys today. I believe it's already available at Sephora, which some of you guys are probably waiting for, the VIB sale, which is right around the corner. But I'm gonna run it all down for you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts on it. We're gonna do this eye look together. I'm gonna swatch the whole palette for you. I'm gonna give you comparisons. I'm gonna try to give you guys as much information as I possibly can in this video. But before we do that, if you have not done so already and you wanna see me again, um, hit subscribe. Maybe you're not part of my subscriptions yet. Check and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I do love to upload a lot of videos on here, so would love to see you again. So let's go ahead, let's get into it. So guys, this is the palette from Too Faced. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the outer packaging. So it looks just like this. It says teddy bear on it. It has a cute little teddy bear and it's a very basic packaging. I will show you guys some size comparisons when we create this eye look because I'm gonna compare it to um, their regular palettes because it is somewhat smaller. So you guys can see how much smaller. So the packaging looks like this. It's a cute little packaging and it has a really nice size mirror. It is a smaller format like I said, but it is a nice array of different, very neutral, very pinky, and some mauve hints in there in this palette. So the palette is retailing you 45 US dollars, and let's go over some of the details that Sephora says about it. So it does say the palette has 14 luxurious colors inspired by your softest teddy bear. It's free of parabens, it's also cruelty-free. The palette includes 14 warm and sensual neutral tones to create endlessly sexy, natural looks, and the shades offer one swipe payoff. So we're going to be able to create some sexy yet natural look. So we've got some two extremes there, but I will say that does make a little bit of sense after playing with the palette. It's so funny how it's like teddy bear palette to create the sexiest looks, you know? I don't know. But anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and put this to the test right now. Let's go ahead and let's zoom in. I'm gonna show you guys how I created this eye look. You will see some of the shades in action, and then we're gonna get into some swag. Okay guys, so I'm so excited. It's finally here. This is what she looks like. I really love the packaging. This is so cute. I love the outer packaging. It just says teddy bear on it, has a teddy bear on it. I think it's cute. It does say bear it all eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Okay, Too Faced. Ooh, okay, so this is actually quite small. I didn't think it was gonna be so small, so this is pretty small. This is a regular Too Faced palette, so this was the pumpkin spice that I just got. Obviously, it's a little bit bulkier, but it just, you know, you guys can see, it is a pretty small compared to that one. Let me see the inside. Ooh, that's cute, though. So this is what the inside looks like. Very pretty, very neutral tones, very pretty. I, I knew it was gonna look like this. I told you guys in my Make Up Your Mind. I knew what I was getting into when I purchased this. So yeah, I mean, compared to the pumpkin spice, you guys can see the size difference in the pans here. So just so you guys know, it is pretty small compared to what I'm typically used to with Too Faced and there is a scent. Can't really make out what it's supposed to smell like. Was it graham crackers that they said? I don't know. But it has like a sweet scent to it. It's not annoying. I wasn't sure if they were gonna have a scent and I'm not, I'm not so keen on scents, you guys know that. The fact that it has a scent is actually a notch down for me. I don't really like scents in makeup. So let's go ahead and try this on the lids. I'm really excited to try this. I almost feel like you can use these two colors as blushes, which is something I do wanna try right now because I thought that that could be a really nice way to make this a multifunctional palette. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you have my skin tone, you could definitely use the teddy bear shade as a blush. That's perfect for a blush. Yeah, totally. So what I think I'm gonna do is start off with this shade right here, because it's a shade that I typically would not use because it's like that kind of like mustardy brown, but it's interesting that it's in this color story. So I kind of just wanna use that in the crease. Let's clean this up a little bit. Yeah, it's a pretty color. I mean, it's more of like a pukey brown, I guess you could call it, but it's a pretty pukey brown because it does match with the color story pretty good. I think I wanna add some burgundy in here. There's some burgundy in here. This is actually not really like a brown palette. It's more like a pinky mauvish palette, which I'm fine with. 
so now what do I want to do? I think I want to use this one right here. This is like a pretty pinky glitter. Let's just like kind of see. Just mixing basically this one I'm putting on the inner portion and the light and the darker gold I'm kind of putting it in the center but I'm mixing them in together and they're making a really pretty tone. I'm really liking the way that that looks. Very subtle, very easy to use, very everyday. I love those type of looks so. All right let's try this. I want to try this deeper burgundy brown. This looks really pretty. Let's try. Ooh, I like that. Look at that color. That's pretty. Wow, that blended really good. That blended extremely, extremely good for the color. Usually when people make these like mauvey browns, sometimes they don't make them really good, but that blended pretty damn good. Let's try it on the other side. That blends really nice. Really nice. Actually, better than I remember Too Faced's formula blending. Like that was a very easy to use deep shade. Very nice. Pretty this look is already. And those are like a few colors that typically I would say like they're not the most complimentary, but these shades blend so nice together. So I'm going to grab this. I'm just going to bring that on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to tight line a little bit closer to the lash with this burgundy again. That's really good. Okay, so that shade is phenomenal. I'm obsessed with this shade right here. Like I feel like I'm going to use that shade a lot. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this deeper color. This is just because I wanna play with more colors. I'm gonna try to see if I could deepen this a little bit here, just to see. Yeah, that added some richness to the outer edge right there. If you guys can see the difference, that added a little bit of richness to the outer edge. Ooh, I'm really liking this. Okay, so let me put on some more mascara. You can see I already have some mascara on. I was filming some reels and TikToks and yes, I'm getting into all that stuff. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, it's Christina Brooke Beauty and I think on TikTok too. But I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara. Give me one second, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. All right guys, and here is my final look. Ooh, I think I like this palette. I'm actually pretty excited. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna zoom the camera out and we're gonna do a little swatching together because I wanna feel some of the other textures since I was only able to use a couple on my eyes today. So I just wanna get a little bit of an idea, but I feel like this might be a good one. I really do. So let's go into some swatches. I wanna swatch this on my arm because I really wanna get a better idea of all of these hues. I want to see how they feel. I just kind of want to see how they feel on the skin. So let's start off with the first one. I'm not going to say the names because I'm probably going to say them all backwards, but it's going to be this first one right here. You guys can see which one I'm touching. And this one here, ooh, that's like one of my favorite like colors. Okay, so I'm actually pretty excited for this. This is a little bit peachier than I thought, but it does have like a little bit of peach in it. So that's pretty. I think that also will work nice as a blush. So this one we did use, and I can tell you guys, it's a really nice, pretty forceful metallic. So, ooh, that's very pretty. Look at that. Ooh. I like that one. So that shade gives you a nice punch. It works really nice. I will tell you that these mattes in here, they just feel so soft to the touch. So this one here is that more mustardy brown that we used, which this color is really pretty because it's not really like yellow. It might translate a little bit more yellow on screen, but it's more like an orangey brown yellow all of those mixed together. So it's a really pretty color. If you guys can see this colorway so far, it's just making a lot of sense. They work really nice together. Next one here, this almost seems like it's gonna be one of the ones that are less impactful, but even though it kind of gets a lot on my finger, but yeah, this is also a really pretty color. I do think between these two, they're kind of close. I wish this would have been a different color. I wonder if I said that in my makeup your mind. I need to look back and see if I saw it, said that. Okay, so now this one here is a pink. So this is pretty pink. Yeah, okay, so I thought that there was gonna be something that was pretty pink in here, and this is it. So it's not like Barbie pink, but it is a little bit more pink than I like. It's kind of reminding me a little bit of the pink that was inside of the new um, Pat McGrath palette. It's kind of giving me that vibe. I think I could use it. I don't think it's gonna be obnoxious for me, but it's just not my favorite color. I really don't like pink on the lids. This one right next door is a cool looking metallic. It almost looks like it has like little specks in it, which actually is kind of looks kind of funny because it has like little white specks in it almost, but ooh, that's pretty. 
but that's like a really pretty like rosy do you guys see how pretty that is? Hopefully this is focusing, but it's like a rosy metallic. I like that. Ooh. So the next one I did use to deepen out the outer edge, and this is really cool. This is a really nice shade. This is like a deep plum. Very, very, very pretty. Doesn't swatch the best, but I did use it on my lids today, and I can tell you that it did seem like it was blending and packing on pretty nicely. So usually these type of darker colors don't usually swatch that great. So we're gonna just kind of make it show up there but that's what it looks like and it looks pretty nice on the lid and it did add you guys saw it the dimension to the outer edge um this one here is like a very light almost like cream color this one might also be a little bit redundant to one of the colors in here so we might have two shades in here that might have been a little bit like not worth it but this is a pretty tone i don't know if any of these colors were dark enough well, i guess there was like two colors so I guess it's okay to have at least one of these like creams because you could use it with like a really dark tone so you could smoke out your outer edge with a really deep rich color and then bring in the brightness to the inner corner and also to the lid with a cream. So I, I can see you doing that. Um, this one here is also really pretty. I like this color. Kind of reminds me of something I've seen in Natasha. It's like a Natasha-y color. It's very pretty. Looks like that. You can use it with the purples and the pinks. I think that meshes really, really nice. Um, here's where I don't know. There's this color right here. Now the difference between these two is this one actually has like glitters in it, little fine glitters. But the problem is, is that those glitters are probably going to disappear and it's just slightly lighter than this one. I think we could have gotten a different shade than this one. It's it's peachier if you guys can see. I don't know if you could see it on camera, but in person it's peachier, but it's so slight. And it has these little tiny glitters in it, but it's a matte. So anytime you have mattes and glitters, the glitters kind of like just disappear. So eh, might've been a little redundant there too. This color right here I also used, and it's probably my favorite one I used today. What a beautiful, beautiful color. And look, it also doesn't swatch that good, but it's pretty phenomenal and it just looks amazing on the lid. So this one is also a great color. Not a great swatcher, but a great color. Um, then we have this one here, which kind of reminds me of a color that we got in Huda Beauty just recently. So it looks like that. Yeah, that's a really pretty color, but I do remember seeing something similar in a Huda palette. Then we've got this one right here which is also a little bit like a mauve brown, which is weird. I guess this palette also looks a little bit like the Naughty Nude. If you guys had that palette, I'm gonna pull it out and look at it. But there's this one here. Then finally, the last shade, which I think is cool because I feel like this shade is actually pretty universal, is this Teddy Bear shade, which I feel like you can also use this as a blush, which is great. So it just looks like this, and it's a really pretty, it's a very pretty, like almost like a mauve pink, but it's nice. So there is where the color story, but yeah, so that's what it looks like. Pretty nice. Um, I like the array of colors. I did tell you guys that I kind of knew it was gonna be a very neutral, very soft looking palette when I purchased it. That's kind of the reason that I wanted it because right now I'm doing a very, I'm doing a lot of very soft neutral looks because yeah, that that's life right now. So, so after swatching and playing with it on the lids, I'm gonna tell you guys, I really think that this is a pretty nice formula. There is a few redundant shades. I think you're getting this one, this one, and this one and this one. So I would say two shades are kind of like repetitive. Like I don't think it needed to be in there. All the rest of the shades to me are very pretty. What I do like is I feel like it blended really nice and I really like this first look that I just created like off the whim and I picked a few colors that I was kind of thinking like these might not be the best together and it blended so effortlessly that I really like it. So I have to say I really like this teddy bear, okay? So I'm, I'm a fan as of right now. Of course, I still need to play with a lot of shades but that's why I kind of swatched it. I wanted to feel if they all felt the same. But I wanna do a quick comparison because in my Make Up Your Mind, I did compare it to this palette right here, the new Tarte Juicy palette. If you guys know, I've been a fan of this palette. I think it's so nice, but I always say that this palette gives you a little bit on the softer end of looks. But the metallics in this palette are more lighter weight metallics. They don't reflect as much, and it's kind of done on purpose that way. This is a very toned down palette. This one gives you more of those impactful metallics. So I wanna see how many of the shades are the same. I did do a Make Up Your Mind, and I do know that I thought it was gonna look very similar to this palette, and I mean, Come on, 
look at that like this is like you are not getting every single color guys but look at them next to each other they almost look like they could be the same palette like seriously they're like identical so if you have the Tarte Juicy palette the only reason that I would tell you to get this one would be because you want to have a mini version of it or because you just want a higher impacted version of this one so if you want to bring your saturation up a notch but keep the same colors that you have in the Juicy palette you can get this one and that is what you're going to get a more saturated look with the same colors that are in here. So I figured that may be the case and that's why I was excited to add this one because for me, this is more of a palette that I would probably grab for when I want to do some, something still light, but with a little bit of sensualness, but, but a little sexy. So I, I understand the whole sexy teddy bear thing. <laughs> I understand what they're trying to go for there. But yeah, I think that if you want to be a sexy teddy bear, you're going to pick this one. And if you just want to be a teddy bear, you get this one. So then um, the other palette, it would be Soft Glam. And I do think Soft Glam has some similarities. I don't think they're exact. Obviously, you're not getting all the colors in this palette. This one has more of like a mauve twist to it. So I just quickly want to look at the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude. You guys can see the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude, in my opinion, also has a few shades that are going to be very complimentary. Like they're almost going to have a very similar idea. I don't think any of these are like exact dupes, but definitely the juicy one, you're going to get the most exact dupes. But on the lids, things don't need to look exactly the same to look exactly the same if you own any of these three you've got something similar to this palette going on other than that guys i think this is beautiful i cannot wait to keep on using it i'm pretty excited i really like the quality and yeah i'm a fan so leave me your comments down below of course i will have the product linked down below because it is available right now at sephora and yeah i think we're at the end of the video thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already leave your comments and i will talk with you guys later bye